Hello, sixth grade. Today we are going to learn about how to create your own Fibonacci art in this grid that you are going to have to print this off if, um, if you are going to be able to complete your Fibonacci art. So, you know what, as I say that, if you end up doing this on Cami, I would, I would be impressed. It would be a way to make some beautiful digital art probably. So, um, you probably can do this on Cami. Um, I will show you, you have, um, isn't, oh, that just looks so pretty, doesn't it? Here is one of the patterns you might do. You're not going to know until you complete it, really. Um, here is another pattern that kind of has the same concept. And let's see. This might be the same pattern as that one that I just showed you. So, but there are actually, um, as you can see, there are actually um, five A, B, C, D, and E different patterns you can choose from. So here's the deal. Um, only do one group on one page. If you choose to do all five of these, I bet it's going to be amazing. Would love to see it, but only choose one per grid page. So for instance, and so let's just start and assume we're going to do group A. Well, what in the world do all those numbers mean? Well, it's going to show me that. Oh, and you're going, going to want, at first, you only need something to write with, like a pen or pencil. Don't get out your colored pencils or anything yet. Start with just a pen or pencil. I'm using a fine point pen. Uh, you're going to want a straight edge. I do have a ruler, but guys, there's, if you are like, I don't have any rulers at my house, guys, there's so many things you can use uh, for a ruler. If you have a, a sturdy like piece of cardstock or poster board, you can use that. Ooh, uh, the edge of a notebook, like your, um, I mean, like a spiral notebook, those edges that are cardboard, um, those are straight. So anything that will be a, a good straight edge for you. So with my straight edge, I am going, this is horizontal. Remember that horizontal means going this way. Vertical means going this way on your page. So you, we will do these the same. So my first one is going to be five spaces down and, or five lines down. So don't count that square. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, or I'll leave five squares. One, two, three, four, five. That's kind of hard to count, guys. I'm going to make that one there. And I'm going to make a thing over here just so I'm sure that I'm going one, two, three, four, five, just so I'm sure that I'm going uh, from the same one to the same one. So I'm going to put mine here. And guys, with the way that, oh, you know what? I can, I'm going to use my document camera. Just okay. okay. So I'll see. So I did it. One thing of five. Okay. And then I'm going to do this starting from here. And the guys, notice these arrows. They show you. You start at, at, the, at the top and go down for the horizontal. You start at the left and go right for the vertical. And so this told me to do five, both horizontal and vertical. So I'm, I've done my horizontal, one, two, three, four, five, and oh, there's a Mr. Min here. Down. Okay. And I'm going to come down to the bottom and go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I've gotten started. Now I'm going to, and guys, uh, I don't want to write on this because I want to use it for other things. But if this were mine, like you're going to print your own out, I would mark off my five. I've done that five so that I could keep track of what I've done. So then I will do my, then I'll do three. One, two, three. Guys, I'm not going to do this whole thing for you. One, two, three. I'm just going to show you how we're going. So I'm going to do three vertical.
and then now it's time to do three horizontal. Oops, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop right there, um, but, but you obviously are going to keep going. You're going to do, uh, for the next one, you'll do two, and then one several times. And then it looks like it kind of goes back and forth to those things for this one. This one looks like it has a lot of little bitty things. So then when you go to color, again, I'm not, let me see if I can. Oh, I've, I've missed some guys that I could show you about. I had one that was kind of just getting started coloring. But I can't find it. But this is another one. So when you go to color, you'll notice in all of these, and they're all different, it looks like. Yeah, this one starts with three. This one starts with the five. I think this one is with the five. And this one starts with one. Um, start in that corner and color the first square or rectangle or whatever you end up having. And then just start doing every other one on that row. Go across. Then make your next one white because you're going to do every other one going down. And you go every other one on this one so that it makes a checkerboard pattern, right? So when you go to color it. And um, this was colored with, I think, a colored pencil. This looks like it was just shaded in using a pencil. Um, I think that this was another colored pencil. So, um, so yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Uh, Fibonacci art is where... Um, Art and math meet, and it is beautiful. Oh, I do want to talk about this. Please notice all of these have the same horizontal and vertical, except for group E. Group E, you're going to start and do horizontal, so you're going to do it this way, and then go down. You'll go down two, then you'll go down one, then you, and so that way you can just stay horizontal, and then when you go vertical it goes a little bit different. You know what? It looks like it starts about the same. I would be curious if somebody does that one, tell me, show it to me. I would be curious what that one's going to look like. Um, and like I said, I can't wait to see what all you guys have.